If you attempt to delete a record in Access and receive this warning message, the record cannot be deleted or changed because table, table name appears in quotes, in this case it's HR data, includes related records. Now all that message is telling you is that you have information in this table that is related or directly connected or associated with information in a subordinate table and therefore deleting this record would create an orphan in our table HR data. Now that doesn't mean that we can't delete the record. All that means is that we can't begin to delete the record from this table and here's why. Jumping back to our relationships view, the table or the tables that we have related are our employees table and HR data table. And when we open up that relationship we can see that we have enforced referential integrity turned on. And that is actually what's stopping you from deleting the record from our employees table. With referential integrity turned on, Access is going to make sure that you don't delete information in a primary or a parent table when you have information or related information stored in a subordinate or child table. And just to take a moment and explain what I mean by a parent and child table or a dominant or subordinate table, really you're just specifying what table is more important or what table should always go first from a data entry or deletion standpoint. And when you, whatever table you have on the left hand side, that's going to be your parent table. In this case, it's our employees table. So with referential integrity turned on, Access is going to force users to begin entering information about any given employee from the employees table, which means in this example, we have to start entering employees first names, their gender, their office extension and email before we start entering more specific information about them like their salary or their hours or their benefits. Likewise, when we go backwards and try to delete information, then we have to delete the more complicated or the less important information about that employee first and work our way backwards. And I know that sounds kind of overly complicated, but Access is just trying to ensure that you don't create any orphaned information. And it makes sense. In this example, there's no point in keeping information about the employee's salary or the number of hours they work if we don't keep the basic information on that employee, such as the employee's name or address. So access, in essence, by having referential integrity turned on, is kind of going through and policing our records for us in not allowing users to delete information from a parent table when information still exists in the child or subordinate table. And so, changing nothing about this relationship, I'm just going to press cancel. If we are absolutely sure that we want to delete Terry Hanny from our database, we have to begin with that child table, in this case, HR data. If we delete him from here, which you can see Access is going to allow it, yes, then we can go back and delete him from the parent table. And now when we select that record and press delete, we do get the standard, you're about to delete one record message, but this time Access allows the deletion. And so to recap, the warning message, the record cannot be deleted or changed because table HR data includes related records. All that means is that you have some kind of relationship or information in another table that is using or referencing information in this table. And Access is not gonna let you delete that record unless the less important or the subordinate information is deleted first. And that's really all this message is communicating. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.